a special showcase out. It's an absolute monster of a lightweight. Uma oportunidade de dizer alguma coisa que eu que eu acho que nunca disse. Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken. Join the Visa Fan Zone on DAZN for the knockouts of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Test your trivia, vote in polls, win amazing prizes, including a VIP trip to the final. Joining is simple. Head to the DAZN app on your mobile or on the web zone.com forward slash women's football. Sign up, select a UWCL game and get involved live and for free on DAZN, the global home of women's football. Good evening, everyone. What a night ahead of us in France. Lyon seek to press home the advantage they won in Lisbon just over a week ago. Benfica aim to turn this tie around. A precious place in the UEFA Women's Champions League semi-finals at stake. Adam Summerton, your commentator, delighted to have your company on DAZN, the global home of women's football. And there is the path to the final at San Mamés in Bilbao this year. Chelsea also in action against Ajax tonight. That the later kickoff, Chelsea 3-0 up from the first leg in Amsterdam. And more live action tomorrow as we see the Swedish side Hecken go to Paris. And Barcelona will host Bram. Well, this is the last eight tie that pits the competition's record winners against the Portuguese champions. Benfica playing at this stage for the first time. Leon, the eight-time winners, and they're keen to regain a crown. Lost to Barcelona last season. And there is the possibility that they could meet each other in this season's final. But lots of football still to be played before that becomes a reality. Benfica, you could argue, with nothing to lose and everything to gain here. Big underdogs coming into the tie, and they're still right in with the shout, aren't they? At 2 1. A 
You've been told to expect a crowd of around 20,000 here this evening. A real sense of excitement here ahead of this second leg. Just one goal in the tie after a thoroughly absorbing reverse fixture. Benfica providing the competition's record winners with a stern test. Leon needed to show their powers of recovery last week. A goal down in Lisbon before goals from Cascarino and Debritz gave them this narrow advantage. But their job is far from done and the fearless Benfica with nothing to lose could well be dangerous this evening. One of the most exciting sides in this season's competition. Their attacking threats are numerous, keeping Leon out at the other end. A huge challenge for any side in world football. Though. Let's hope this is as tightly and keenly contested as that absorbing first leg just over a week ago now. Really good game that Benfica certainly played their part. Now the Leon side contains just one change from the 11 that began last week's first leg. Having successfully returned from injury at the weekend, Daniela van der Donk plays in central midfield. The player who makes way for her is Amel Majri, who got a hat-trick in a 7-0 win over Lille at the weekend. Club captain Wendy Renard is again an option from the bench, having returned to fitness. But there's still, unfortunately, no Ada Hegerberg. She remains out through injury. So many star names in that side. A group of players hoping to regain their lost crown at the end of this season. And what a story Benfica have been in this campaign. The first ever Portuguese side to play in the quarterfinals of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Whatever happens tonight, they've got a lot to be proud of. Cheryl Foster from Wales is our referee this evening, regularly referees in the men, men's Welsh Premier League and has done since 2018. She won 63 caps for Wales over a 14-year period up until 2011. I recall she had nine years with Liverpool as well in the WSL. And Bok, the captain here. Of Lyon. Costa wears the armband for Benfica. Well, there are two changes to Benfica's first leg lineup. Nicole Reisler misses out with the injury that she picked up in the reverse fixture. Her replacement is the Canadian forward Chandra Davidson, who made her Champions League debut last week. The other change is at left wing back. Katarina Amado, who's played in all four of Benfica's Champions League games, comes in for Falcon. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken. So we're moments away from kickoff as Lyon take on Benfica here on DAZN, the global home of women's football. And we're inviting you to get involved in the Visa Fan Zone this evening and on every match from now until the UEFA Women's Champions League final. Head to the DAZN app on your mobile or on the web at dazone.com forward slash women's football. Sign up, click on the Champions League game of choice and join in the fun. So 
They're just about ready to go then. Lyon seeking to reach an 11th Champions League final. The record winners seeking to regain their lost crown. And there's no doubt they start the favourites here. A 2-1 lead. Vast experience of this type of situation. And of course, home advantage as well. Benfica playing in their very first quarter final. They have the odds stacked against them. But far stranger things have happened in the wonderful game of football. The semi final place the prize for the winners. Here's Alidou, as Benfica look to make a fast start. Benfica's top scorer in this season's Champions League, Alidou, with eight in ten games, four in their last five in this, this competition. Will need a big game, a big performance from their number two tonight. It came Powells, who had a very good first leg. Pulled off several important saves before being beaten twice in the second half. Cascarino with the first and then the second. The winner on the night scored by Zara Debritz. Very well taken header. Diani. This is a special tie for Sonia Bonpastor, who has Portuguese family on her mum's side. Apparently, they all support Benfica as well. It's been very keen to remind her players and the Lyon fans ahead of this that there's still a lot of work to be done in this tie and that nothing can be taken for granted. We saw enough from Benfica in that first leg to suggest that they are capable of getting back into this. Alidou is the furthest forwards. Davidson's up there too. Kika. Uchebe's pass. Amado, who's been brought into the side tonight from the team that started the first leg. Diani. Carpenter, Diani, Basha, now Cascarino, who was impressive in the first leg and the equalising goal. His first since February 2023, having Suffered badly through injury. It's great to see a bat playing regularly, starting regularly. Le Sommer. Nebritt's one of those waiting in the box. Diani is at the back post. Basher with the chance to cross. We were looking for the perfect start there, the effort by Daniela van der Donk. Just couldn't get the required purchase, nor direction on it to trouble the goalkeeper. Won the UEFA Women's Champions League in her first season with Lyon, van der Donk. We were delighted to get her back from injury in the 7-0 victory over Lille at the weekend. It takes the place of Madri in the team tonight. Madri might count herself a little unlucky to drop out of the team tonight by virtue of the fact she got a hat-trick at the weekend. There are six changes to the Lyon side that began that victory over Lille. Amado. Lucia Alves, movement here from Davidson. It's brought Mbok out from a central position. A 
just wonder whether they'll be able to get Lucia Alves further forward in this first leg. The right wing back for Benfica is ordinarily somebody that they get a lot of creativity from, a lot of assists from down that right hand side, but such were her defensive requirements in that first leg. Maybe didn't get forward as much as she might have liked. It's a difficult balance, isn't it, against a side with the quality of Lyon? Amado. Le Sommet. Debritz with a really nice ball. They're appealing for offside, but the flag stays down for the moment. Le Sommet is on for the pullback. Gathered in at the second attempt by Powells. Unselfish this from Cascarino, who knew that Le Sommet was arriving. I thought Montpastor would be pretty happy with the way that Leon have started the game here. There certainly isn't the look of a team that's taking anything for granted. Philippa Patel says her side have nothing to lose and everything to gain tonight, which is hard to argue with. Although they did lose the first leg, you'd have to say they gave a great account of themselves when you consider the complete disparity there is between these two teams in terms of experience at this stage of the Champions League. It's night and day, really. Leon aiming to reach a 13th semi-final in this competition. It would be Benfica's first if they could turn this situation around. Chebe will take the throw in. I would say arguably Benfica's best player in that first leg with Chebe. Some really important defensive interventions made by her, particularly in the first half. Chances then falling the way of both Van der Donk and Le Sommer for Lyon. Gaspers pass, Araujo, back to Powells. This is the first of two quarter-final second legs tonight. You'll also be able to see Chelsea against Ajax on disown the global home of women's football that kicks off at 9 p.m. CET. Chelsea 3-0 up from the first leg in Amsterdam. Just the one goal in this tie, though. Le Sommer, cleared by Costa, kept in by Cascarino. Basher, run back by Lucia Alves. The leading assist provider in the Portuguese top flight, Alves. And there is plenty of reserve if required for Leon, including the club captain, you'll have noticed there, Wendy Renard, who presented her teammate, Le Sommer, with uh, something to mark her 400th appearance for the club, which was made in the first leg. That presentation happened before the game. Le Sommer, one of those in the middle, Daniela van der Donk was there too. Calmly done by Araujo. It's a good ball too. Kika. Uchebe. Faria with the ball back here to... Powells, Faria, who scored her first ever Women's Champions League goal in the first leg, got another at the weekend 
in a 4-1 win over Sporting Braga, which is a good victory with uh, Braga third in the league in Portugal. Kika. Kika got a brace in that victory over Braga. Really nicely done by Diani. Le Sommer on the move. Cascarino arriving in the box. Van der Donk to Debritz and bashes a long way forwards. Plenty of white shirts to aim at in there over the head of Diani. And headed clear by Costa. They come again with Carpenter. He looks to go on the outside here and stands up a decent cross which wasn't quite kept in. It's really sense an eagerness from Leon to as quickly as possible establish a two-goal cushion in the tie. He's been intent about the home side right since the word go here. Press from Leon here too, which has paid off and forces the error from Araujo. Only one defeat in their last 20 matches in all competitions for Benfica. That was the first leg. Leon's last defeat in 90 minutes against Chelsea just under a year ago at this stage last year. Although they did lose on penalties to Fleury in the French Cup this month was at home as well. Foul by Kika. They'll be looking to get her on the ball as much as possible though. Kika Nazareth is a 21-year-old Portuguese international. In fact, somebody who was name-checked by the Leon coach Sonia Bonpastor ahead of the first leg, saying what a good player she was. Here's Diani with Le Sommer in the middle, what a chance. Golden opportunity not taken. Came from the mistake by Uchebe, who was so good in the first leg, but got caught in possession there by Diani, who then was always looking for Le Sommer, who's unmarked in the middle that couldn't find the finish that's three or two half chances and one really good opportunity now that have come the way of leon and you wonder whether they might live to regret those missed opportunities we'll see Uchebe with the throw-in to Kika. Taken off her by Haran, the American captain. He's recently back from winning the Gold Cup with the States. Cascarino running with intent. Carpenter gets forward from right back. Diani moves inside. This is Debritz. Just held on to it too long and then there's the trip. By the German international. Kika, the player, brought down. That's 15 goals in the Portuguese top flight so far this season. Kika is the top scorer in that league. Says her game is uh, all about intuition. Everything I do comes spontaneously, she says. Puts it down to having learnt uh, the game as a street footballer in Portugal. She's really good to watch, as are many of these Benfica players who are making a real name for themselves in Europe this season. Diani 
almost a quarter of an hour gone as Diani finds Carpenter here in towards Cascarino just couldn't apply the touch there Alves Miss kick by Le Sommet. It was the earlier chance for Le Sommet. Sought out by Diani. We'd love you to get involved in the fan zone. You can share your messages of support for your team or preferred player. Let us know as well who you want to win right now. Van der Donk, the Dutch international. Yanni looking to win this competition for the first time. Gilles then to take the free kick here for Lyon. Headed by Le Sommet. Just was controlled by Cascarino, although it was a difficult ball to bring down. And Bok. Basha. Diani. Debritz. It's a really well taken header from Debritz that won the first leg for Lyon. Intercepted here by Araujo. Davidson. Important presence in this Leon side. Lindsay Horan scored the winner for the USA in the final of the Gold Cup that I mentioned earlier. He's in the team of the tournament as well. Return to action for Leon in the first leg. They'd have been delighted to have her back. Set up the winning goal last week. Davidson with a good ball. Alidou. Lucia Alves is making the run down the right, and Alidu decided to go for goal herself. Maybe the pass was on for Alves. It's a very ambitious effort. We're saying ahead of the game, Alidu, how this type of pressure is something that she and her teammates love. Called the, that type of pressure a privilege. He certainly did detect a fair degree of confidence and belief in this Benfica squad ahead of this second leg. That's a good ball. And this is Le Sommer. Uchebe won it back and then was tripped by Le Sommer. And he's really felt that challenge from the French international. I just seem to catch... It looked like her ankle. 
did look a sore on that. Certainly didn't appear to be any intent on the part of Le Sommaire, but she was a, a little late there, Lyon's number nine. One of that French side that lost the UEFA Nations League final to Spain in February, beaten by two goals to nil. Several Lyon players in that team. Gasper. Amado. Carpenter. Haram. Basha. Araujo. It's the Brazilian Araujo again. Benfica won by four goals to one against Braga at the weekend. They had 68% of the possession in that game. Clearly aren't going to see as much tonight. They've got to make the most of breaks like this. That's a good ball to Davidson. Alidou will continue her run. Just too much on it for Lucia Alves. It's a great idea. Just over hit by the Canadian Davidson. But that's exactly what the sort of runs that Alves you see make regularly in the Portuguese top flight. She can be a real threat down the right-hand side if they can get the timing of those passes right for it. Notice there that Bon Pastor just called over Van der Donk for a word. I did note ahead of the game that Jessica Silva is an option again tonight from the bench for Benfica. One of their most experienced players was missed last week through injury. Player cap more than 100 times by Portugal. Missed the first leg through injury, but as I say, is on the bench tonight. Certainly an option that Filipe Patel may well turn to. Basha. Cascarino with the cross. Unable to pick out Le Sommaire. have seen already this season in the Champions League as Benfica proved that they can mix it with the big names. The current holders, Barcelona, were held to a four-all draw by them in Lisbon on match day six. Narrowly beaten 2-1 in the first leg of this tie as well. Chebe with the throw in. Gilles goes back to Endler. Recently retired from international football with Chile, having made 104 appearances for her country. Cascarino. Araujo. Looking to try and keep pace with her. Showed good strength there, the Brazilian defender. Good battle between those two. Saw Cascarino start on the opposite flank in the first leg, and it's Diani on that side tonight.
Amado with Carpenter in front of her. Kika. Amado tripped. A free kick in a decent position here for Benfica. Certainly close enough to put it into the box. Haram with the foul. Endler on guard here. Just over 25 minutes gone. So Sierra Alves, who's come across from the right-hand side to take this. Un Pastor looking concerned. Needs a good delivery, though, from Lucia Alves. Can she provide one? It's flicked on dangerously. Lucia Alves. Oh, that's a searching crossover towards Davidson. What a ball that was, caused all sorts of problems. Davidson colliding with Endler. But Lucia Alves has come across to this near side, having taken the free kick. The lovely ball with that right foot of hers. It's decisive, isn't it, from Endler? It's brave as well from Davidson. Both players with eyes on the ball. You're all enjoying the fan zone here on the zone, the global home of women's football. We've got some fantastic prizes to give away to be in with the chance of winning a signed t shirt from a team visa footballer. Share with us the pep talk that you'd like to give your team right now in the fan zone. Yellow card shown here to. Zara Debritz. Stray arm just catching Kika. What a ball that was, though, by Lucia Alves. Slight, uh, a slight cut there, I think. Which is why she's having to go off here. So they're just down to 10 players. Benfica, as they prepare to take this free kick. Lucia Alves will float this one in again. Been an encouraging five minutes or so, you'd have to say, for the Portuguese champions. Survived a few scares so far in this first half, but they're looking a bit more of a threat themselves now. Machebe, Diani, Haram. Mentioned that four-all draw with Barcelona in the group stage. Benfica showed good powers of recovery in that match. They'd gone 2-0 down in the draw with Barca, came back to 2-2, then they went 3-2 down, then 
went 4-3 up before Lucy Bronze scored a, an added time equaliser, having scored the own goal that had put Benfica in front. It was an amazing game, that, but I make the point because, of course, they've got a situation to try and recover here, Benfica, a goal down in the tie, but they've shown belief that they can do it. Nothing is impossible in football is the message from Filipe Patau before the match to her players and the Benfica supporters. Great to have your company on DAZN, the global home of women's football, where with just over half an hour gone. It remains goalless on the night, but Leon with that narrow advantage on aggregate. Faria. Arojo. Davidson. Embok. Comes through to Le Sommet. Cascarino is an option. Diani. Carpenter. Embok in her ninth season now with Lyon, the French international Embok. Davidson. Lucia Alves. Combining nicely with Kika. He's back on after treatment for that facial injury. Benfica didn't win any of their three group stage away games this season, beaten 5-0 in Barcelona. Played out draws in Frankfurt and Rosengard. than held their own against Lyon so far this evening. Daniela van der Donk with a good ball. Cascarino at pace with Le Sommer waiting in the middle. It's a fantastic run and a good save by Powells. Well, that's Cascarino at her best. Direct, pacey, determined. It's a good save by the goalkeeper. who used her legs to make saves to good effect on several occasions in the first leg. I was really impressed with the German Powells in the reverse fixture, and that's another good stop there. Challenge with Haran in which... Andrea Faria has been injured. She's one of those who's been with Benfica since the very start. Club's record appearance holder, still only 23, the Portuguese international. Two goals in her last two games, including the reverse fixture. Very important player, the number six in the heart of that Benfica midfield. So a set piece for the Eagles to defend here. Haram, one of those in the box. It's Selma Basha who will take it. Play with seven assists to her name in the French top flight this season. Past everybody. Possession lost by Gilles, who is one of four Lyon players in DAZN's team of the group stage. I was amazed to read, actually, about Gilles, who's a Canadian international, that she didn't actually start playing football until she was 15. It's an incredible rise, that, isn't it, in the short space of time to go on and play the game professionally, and not just that, but internationally and in the Champions League, too. Alidou, Faria, 
Lucia Alves up against Basha. Araujo. Faria. Gaspar. Uchebe. Alves. Kika. Well, the referee did well there. Initially allowed the advantage after was a, a pullback there. Diani. And then a second foul that time on Debritz. Well, they just thought they were away for a moment there. Diani, oh, lovely first touch. Le Sommer is in there. Couldn't find her. The way she brought that down was absolutely outstanding, wasn't it, from Diani? But now there's a counter on. Game a bit stretched. And they've got numbers back now, Leon. Haran, Cascarino. Diani on the edge of the box. Le Sommer making her way in. Haran was calling for the pass from Cascarino. Back it comes to Selma Basha. Basha with another chance to cross, cleared by Gasper. I'm looking forward to seeing the replay of that piece of control from Diani. It's absolutely outstanding on first sight. Cleared by Araujo. Le Sommer. Haran. Carpenter. Well won back by Uchebe. Both these sides top of their domestic league championships right now. Benfica five clear of Sporting in Portugal. Lyon seven points above PSG in France. And the possibility that they could meet PSG in the semi-final of this competition should they go through tonight. Two old rivals, so often it's been Lyon who's got the better of the Parisians. Bock. Played early by Gilles. Given away by Amado here to Lindsay Horan. Basha to her left, Cascarino further wide. Haran. The Sommers touch. Turned by Le Sommer. 
Cascarino wanted it, and again, it didn't quite reach her, and it was Ali Dubat defending there, and to good effect as well. Flag up, which halts Leon's progress, but they've been really frustrated in the final third so far. side still very much in this. She was so po positive in her pre-match thoughts. Patel. We got the sense that she does truly believe that this is possible for Benfica tonight. What a story it would be if they could turn this around against the record winners of this competition. Amado. Carpenter in front of her. Taken out by the Australian international. Gasper. That ocean. Keep those positive pep talks coming in for your team and let us know who your standout player is of the first half, who's impressed you most, let us know in the fan zone. Embok, three to go at the end of this First half. It was only just enough on that, or was that? It's unselfish from Le Somme, and it's in. Uchebe couldn't make it. Long Le Somme with the presence of mind to play the pass. And Bompastor side in front. Cascarino taking the congratulations of her teammates. And it was the ball back by Araujo that didn't quite have enough on it. But Luson there, as I say, unselfish to find Cascarino, who still, by the way, had a lot to do. Chebe just couldn't quite keep it out. And Leon have the two goal cushion that they've craved. And that will settle any nerves here. Well, they could get another one here. It's Luss on there again. What a return to fitness it's been from Cascarino. It's been so long out. The first leg saw her get her first goal since February of 2023 the score sheet in back-to-back -back Champions League matches now, having returned from that ACL injury. We saw him miss the World Cup, was out between May of 2023 and January of 2024. Oh, lovely ball, and they're in behind. And Ali Do! Benfica on terms on the night. And it's their top scorer in the Champions League this season. Who's turned that over the line. And what a reaction this has been from the Portuguese champions. What a pass that is. It got Lucia Alves in behind them. And then turned home by Ali Do. Fantastic ball to pick her out. And that's exactly what I was talking about earlier on in the game. If you can get Lucia Alves into those advanced positions, she will cause havoc and certainly did there.
And if you include the qualifiers, that is Alidou's ninth goal in the Champions League this season. And full credit to Benfica for their almost immediate reaction here as we move into added time at the end of the half. Cascarino. And an end to the first period this is. Carpenter. Diani kept it in just about. Le Sommer brave to stoop there. Costa it was who did enough. Basha has come over to this near side to take the corner. Rijem Bok is one of those forward. On the header is pushed over by Powells. Had plenty of purchase and power in it, but maybe that the direction is straight at the goalkeeper. Still a good reaction, though. Sheila it was forward from the back. A minute of the allotted added time to go here. Le Sommer on the turn and headed behind by Davidson. Basher with another ball in. Uchebe got it clear. Carpenter with the strike, blocked by Davidson. Well, the closing stages in particular of this first half really have been captivating, but so I admire the response, the reaction of Benfica to going a goal down. Once again, her, sh her side show real character and belief. And finally, they got Lucia Alves in behind there. It's a great effect. Ali doing the right place at the right time as there goes the half time whistle. It was Cascarino who had put them, Leon, in front for a lovely ball. Put in the right wing back, Lucia Alves, who set up Ali to turn it home. And at the break here, it is Leon 1, Benfica 1. Keep on bringing your positive messages in of support for both sides and keep on cheering on your team in the fan zone. 51% of the pep talks at the moment for Leon, 49 for Benfica. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken. Champions League, sponsored by Heineken. live up to the height. It's only rivalry. A little hard work. Only a kick. 
it's only a jump. Hey champ, I know why you're here. You're a born winner, the top dog. You have a proper punch on you. It only takes one, eh? But I know you're not all about throwing haymakers. You know your bobs from your weeds, and you know the zone's got over 100 live events every year. Over 100, proper stack. All the action, the chaos, the comebacks, the non-stop knockout. Big fights every week. So get those gloves back on. Together, we're boxing royalty. The zone, undisputed. Hey, can I get a Virginia? A what? Ikene? Monikin? Hi, Kim, please. Me? Wait. How do you spell it? Any Kim. <laughs> the green one? Ah. Hackman? Yes. in their own country, but also in the international basketball world forever. Join the Visa Fan Zone on DAZN for the knockouts of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Test your trivia, vote in polls, win amazing prizes, including a VIP trip to the final. Joining is simple. Head to the DAZN app on your mobile or on the web, dazone.com forward slash women's football. Sign up, select a UWCL game and get involved live and for free on DAZN, the global home of women's football. What a good first half it's been in France. Hope you're enjoying all the action on DAZN, the global home of women's football. Several early chances for Lyon. That probably the best, actually. The Le Sommaire set up by Diani. The player who's so often reliable in front of goal wasn't on that occasion. They kept coming, though, Lyon. Great running this by Cascarino. Really her at her best when she drives forward like that, but Powells, who was excellent in the first leg, producing another good save with her feet, as she did in the first game on a few occasions. 
Mascarino in full flight there. It was Cascarino who forced the error from Araujo. I thought for a moment that it was going to have enough on it to get back to Powell's, but Le Sommer just beat her to it and was unselfish enough to play it to Cascarino, who then scored a second Champions League goal in as many games, having returned to fitness recently. Just under hit it, didn't she, Araujo? Lovely finish by Cascarino. Uchebe unable to keep it out on the line. Very calmly done by Cascarino. Le Sommer seeing that a teammate was perhaps better placed than her and passed over the responsibility. What about that for a pass from Kika? Absolutely glorious pass, which found Lucia Alves, who's been looking to make that type of run on so many occasions in the first half. That time they got it absolutely spot on. And Alidou, Benfica's top scorer in the Champions League this season, slid in with Brijen Bok, but it's all about the pass, isn't it, from Kika. And that ball too, as well, came off and Bok and onto Alidou. This in added time at the end of the half, a good save, although it was rather straight at her. Still needed stopping, though, by Powell's. Exciting end to the half. The 50 50 split in terms of the possession from the first period. You don't often see that, and you'd have to say credit to Benfica that they've had as much of the ball as they have away against Leon. Have had three attempts on target as well. But at the break in France, it's 1 1. Join the Visa Fan Zone on DAZN for the knockouts of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Test your trivia, vote in polls, win amazing prizes, including a VIP trip to the final. Joining is simple. Head to the DAZN app on your mobile or on the web, dazone.com forward slash women's football. Sign up, select a UWCL game and get involved live and for free on DAZN, the global home of women's football. Can I get a Virginia? A what? Ekene? Monikin? Heine? Hi, Kim, please. Me? Wait. How do you spell it? Any Kim. The green one? Ah. Hakkinen? Yes. Forget all the politics, forget all the noise, look at the evidence. You're about to see something different. Kelly, this ain't a video game. I created this monster. Then there's a problem here. It's Maradona, he must come back. Yeah, goosebumps all over the place. It gets no bigger than this. Have we just witnessed the big moment? This is the best fight card in history, and I'm here with you guys, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world right now. It's only noise. Can Anthony Edwards live up to the hype? It's only rivalry. Da, 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 da. 
a little hard work, only a kick, it's only a jump. waiting for something big to happen. A night that you will not forget. Here we go. Wow, what a performance. It's Beautiful it. jab from Hitchens right there. Yeah. What a great performance from Gil. He was just too good. Quinn. You never know what could happen. That was a statement. Good left foot. Oh, big right. The championship fight. The zone is the global home of women's football. History is to be written in the women's game tonight. Enjoy the best live games. Great chance, go! From the world's top leagues. What a moment! Absolutely magnificent. It's their time. Finish. A new deal for women's football. Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken. Welcome back, everyone. So this tie still very much in the balance. As Eguerola is about to be brought on here at the start of the second half. Also going to see Dumorne. It's a fantastic reaction from Benfica to going a goal down late on in the first half. We hope you've been having fun in the fan zone live on DAZN, the global home of women's football. Earlier, we asked you who your standout player of the first half was, and it was Diani of Lyon who came out on top. So Lussonair makes way for Dumorne. The Maris Egurola will come into that. Leon midfield replacing Zara Debritz. Always a calming presence. The Dutch international Egurola. Maybe shows that she was sufficiently concerned with how well Benfica played in that first half that she feels she's needed to make those two changes. Really enjoyed, particularly the final stages of that first period. Let's hope that this next 45, possibly more, because remember, we need to get a winner tonight. Let's hope it's just as compelling and entertaining. But how Benfica here are pushing again, Leon, as they did in the first leg. Araujo's mistake, providing Leon with their opening goal, scored by Cascarino, but the response was almost immediate. Nidalidou turning home the cross from Lucia Alves. And it's all square on the night as we get back underway. Lyon with that one goal advantage on aggregate. I always thought there would be a danger coming here tonight, Benfica, as you look at how many threats there are in the side. 14 different goal scorers they've had in this season's competition. Nine of those now scored by Alidou. Van der Donk. Dumornay's taking up a place in the box. It was over towards her.
Davids. I just wonder how long they will leave it before possibly introducing Jessica Silva Benfica. Former Leon player. He's got four goals in this season's UEFA Women's Champions League, more than a hundred times by Portugal. But her running cross for the equaliser was sublime, wasn't it? And the pass as well from Kika. Araujo. Van der Donk. Gilles. And Bok. Miscontrolled by Alves. One thing you can be sure of at half time is that not just Bon Pastor, the coach, but also Wendy Renard would have played a big part in the Lyon team tour. I noticed that even ahead of the first leg when the players were on the pitch before the game, even though she wasn't starting the match, Renard was very vocal in the huddle. Diani, Dumonet looks a really promising talent. The Haiti international, Carpenter. Offside flag up against Diani. Settled in really well at Lyon, Diani. Signed from PSG in August, who was the top scorer in the French top flight last, last season with PSG, got 17 goals. Could be danger here for Benfica. Lyon wanting the free kick on the edge of the box, but Cheryl Foster says play on. Counter-attack possibility here. For the Portuguese champions, Davidson is the furthest forward. Kika. Lucia Alves. Kika. He just pulls into these sort of positions. Almost at, at times a bit of a quarterback role. He's just capable of playing those defense splitting passes as we saw with the equaliser, Gasper. Really enjoyed watching Kika in the Champions League this season. A chance for them to get up the pitch here. Foul on Alidou. The Annie back to defend this set piece. Fika seeking the goal that would level the tie. You see her Alves, who set up their equaliser on the night. The ball in here. It's behind for a goal kick. Has to be so happy again with the set, the way that her side had played tonight, particularly their reaction to. Mascarino's opener. Cascarino with Diani to her right. Cascarino goes alone! Stunning!
opening goal. Fantastic strike by Cascarino. Her second of the night, but that one is special, isn't it? What a return to fitness it's been. Out for so long with that ACL injury. And how sweetly struck was that? Had a look round, didn't she? And maybe didn't feel there was much on in terms of a pass, so decided to go alone. And that is sheer quality from Cascarino. And they regain the lead on the night and restore their two-goal cushion. Cascarino again on a hat trick. Lucia Alves. Bashi with the ball back to Greed Jembot. What a performance it's been from Cascarino. Just to say thank you for being part of the fan zone here on the zone, the global home of women's football. Time now for the pep talk quiz in which you have the chance to win a VIP trip for two to this year's final in Bilbao, including travel accommodation and hospitality. We'll get to that in a moment because Diani looking to pull it back for Daniela van der Donk. The question, who scored the winning goal in the first leg of this tie? Was it Cascarino, Dumorne, Debritz or Haran? Give us your answer in the fan zone. So a change is going to be required here. Faria going to need to... Well, certainly the indication from her to the bench is that she's going to need to be replaced. So a reshuffle required here from Filipa Patau. Who's had a real influence on this tie for Benfica. Been really impressed with the number six. But what about this from Cascarino? Well worth another look, isn't it? Away from the first challenge, they backed off her, and that just invited the shot. And into that bottom corner it went from Cascarino. Just worth reminding you that her first Champions League appearance of this season was the first leg. She hadn't played in the competition since the quarterfinals last season when they were knocked out by Chelsea. Missed the World Cup with the ACL injury, but... Back and back with a bang now. And Bok, Haran. Van der Donk, Diani, Haran calling for it in the box. Cascarino's in there too. Diani. Carpenter. And Fika with a player down here. The Donks ball going right into the back of Amado. I'd imagine it's probably wind at a 
Amado the ball going into a bat like that. A fairly close distance. I mentioned it was at this point that Leon were knocked out of last season's Champions League, beaten by Chelsea on penalties after a two-all draw. In fact, they've gone out at this stage in two of the last three seasons. It was Paris who beat them on away goals in 2021. But they're looking very well placed now to go through in this tie. So we're now going to see Jessica Silva, and it's uh, Faria who comes off. It's a bold move to bring on Jessica Silva forward. Such a shame that she's missed the first leg of this tie up against the former club here. And she's been saying how much she wants to inspire more girls in Portugal to play football, says it's her dream to see Portugal have among the most registers, registered players anywhere in the world. She's certainly playing her part in spreading the message about the beautiful game in Portugal. She's certainly catching up to nations like France in terms of its development of the women's game. And a really big factor in that is the fact that they've got a team into the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the first time. It's a big deal what Benfica have done in that respect. Here's Davidson. Plenty of red shirts forward here. Silva makes her way into the box. Alves. Davidson hadn't quite anticipated that early enough clear by Mbok. A yellow card here for Uchebe. If they were to get through now, would miss the first leg of the semi-final. playing on the left of that three-player bat line for Benfica tonight, Uchebe, but plays in midfield for Nigeria, something of a midfield general for them. Shows real versatility in her game. Haran. Carpenter. Diani. Haran. Nice football by Leon. Dumorne will look to hit it. And Carpenter is wayward. Just about did enough there, didn't they, Benfica? Uchebe got in the way, and then so did Costa. Silva. Oh, good ball to Haran and Diani is in space and calling for it. Dumorne is arriving in the box. Here's Daniela van der Donk. Just got away from it. Flag up on the far side. So just past the hour mark in France. Leon, that one goal leads on the night given to them by stunning strike from Cascarino. Araujo. Costa. Uchebe. Davidson. 
Alidu. Silva beyond that. Rather runners too, but it's a really difficult pass to make there. They're still intent though, isn't there? An ambition here from Benfica. They're not giving this up. It's not in their nature. Jessica Silva. Couldn't pick out Davidson. But as they commit numbers forward now, Benfica, this is the danger on the counter. Carpenter. And the yellow card shown for the challenge. No surprise, really, to see the card come out. Shown to Armado. One of those brought into the side tonight from the first leg. He's determined one way or another to halt the progress of Carpenter. So Masri, who got a hat-trick in the 7-0 win over Lille at the weekend, will come on here. Van der Donk is the player who makes way. Vastly experienced Masri. Eight-time winner of this competition and fifth on the all-time list of assists in the Women's Champions League. Alidu, Jessica Silva is central if they can pick her out, almost did. And Bot knew she was there the whole time, had a couple of glances behind and then and Bot with the clearance that made sure it didn't reach Silva. She start, still can't feel too comfortable. Davidson's lost it. Dumorne. Uchebe. Lucia Alves. Araujo. Heavy touch by Jessica Silva. Just added another layer of threat, though, since coming on the Portuguese international. Gasper. Amado to the left. Davidson and Silver on the edge of the box. Alidu has held a slightly deeper position. Uchebe. Basha. Too much on it for Diani. Uchebe. Well, that was a risky ball. Haran brought down by Alidou. Trip on Lindsay Haran. It will lead to a free kick in a good position here. Just got a knock to the back of the head there, the USA captain. As a few will fancy this, it's been placed by Masri. As Powell's organises the wall. Just 
surveying your options here, Hamel Masri. Goalkeeper just fractionally off their line. Referee's still not happy with how far back the wall is here. For Masri to take it. Some way wide in the end. Kika. Give it away to Basher. Dumornay. Dumornay shots. Just wouldn't bend enough for it. Gasper. Black shirt swarming around them there, but they found a way out. Kika. Lucia Alves. Still life left in Benfica yet. And Sembot got there just before her former teammate Jessica Silva. Sean Dumone by Araujo. A little earlier in the pep talk quiz, we asked you who scored the opening goal in the first leg between these two sides last week. The answer was Zara Debritz. If you got that right, take on the quiz in the fan zone for your chance to win a VIP experience at the UEFA Women's Champions League final in May. Carpenter, Cascarino and Haran. Insisting it should be a corner, Haran. Just kept in by Kika. Size getting ever closer to what would be a 13th semi final in this competition. Straight swap at left back here. Moroni is the player coming on for Basha. Moroni was part of the PSG side that knocked Leon out of this competition. Back in 2021, the possibility they could meet again in this season's semi-finals. Davidson, Lucia Alves, cross-blocked by the recently introduced Pearl Moroni. So Gasper to take this. Silva.
Leon didn't win any of their group stage games at home by a big margin this season. They're in trouble here, real trouble. Well, they're insisting it should be their ball. It was Screech and Bok who slid in with Uchebe. You have VAR in operation. Just wonder whether Uchebe might have been suggesting that she was fouled there as well. Here's another look at it. Confusion between the two centre halves. And on we go. Over towards that back post where Davidson was there, and so was Araujo. Dumornay. Cascarino. Diani has arrived in the box. Still Cascarino. And now it's Horan! A chance there to finish the tie off as a contest, really. Cascarino and Selfish. Horan over the bar. Lucia Alves. Just a little too eager, wasn't she there, to win the ball back, Alvis? I have to say, whatever happens here, what a journey this has been for Benfica. Came through three qualifying rounds to reach the group stage. They beat Cliftonville, Riga, and Athlon, Limassol. This is their 11th game. They've come a long way. Uchebe, Amado, we have seen some nice touches from Dumornay who came on at half time. Just 20 years old, a Haiti international made a Champions League debut in the first leg, signed from Rance in July. With 11 goals in 18 league appearances for Rance last season. Saw she scored eight goals in two appearances for Haiti in the Gold Cup qualifiers. That's some strike rate, isn't it? Eight in two games. On the ball here, Dumorne. Determines challenge from Alves to win it back. To the final quarter of an hour then. Leon having a two-goal cushion. Araujo. Costa. Another Leon change coming then. She won't be getting the Patrick, I'm sure she was desiring Cascarino, replaced by Besho. What a good night's work it's been, though, for Cascarino. And you can understand taking her off, even though she's a goal away from a hat trick, still feeling her way back to full fitness after so long out injured.
I don't want to overload her in that respect in terms of minutes on the pitch. Besho scored a brace in the 7-0 weekend win over Lille. And on for the final quarter of an hour or so here. by Dumorne to Ellie Carpenter. She'll get to this, Carpenter. There's nothing wrong with the cross. Not a good finish, though. Haran. Alves. Mashri. Oh, good effort. Not too far wide. Such a clever, technically gifted player. Mel Mashri. Quite getting a bend on that. I remember reading a quote from her years ago where she said, I love football too much. <laughs> Mashri, real student of the game, dedicated to the game. He came through the youth system at Lyon. That's a good ball from Haran. Dumorne, and a fine save. Kept out by Powells and Diani. And Uchebe got in the way of that. Flag up. Great last ditch defending though, not once but twice. It is offside, it's a good decision. Dumorne with the ball over. Majri with the first effort, and then Diani's effort blocked by Uchebe. Goalkeepers played well over the two legs, the German Powells. Spent seven seasons at Werder Bremen before moving to Benfica in the summer. She's proved to be a really shrewd acquisition. Saying that the most difficult thing about playing abroad is the language, but says the assistant coach translates everything to English for her. And the club are providing lessons. Talked about having goosebumps playing in the Champions League for the very first time. She's really done herself credit whenever I've seen her play in the competition this season. Benfica's fourth season of Champions League football. They play, played in the round of 32 in their debut campaign. Went out in the group stage in the last two. It's been real progress. It's not just reached the quarterfinals, but also pushes they have. The most successful team in the history of this competition. That an achievement in itself, really, when you consider the complete disparity in terms of experience at this level. Yellow card for Dumorne. to have been pulling back Costa. Just to remind you that the action continues tonight on the zone, the global home of women's football, the second leg between Chelsea and 
at uh, Ajax with Chelsea three 0 up, second leg of that. And then as well, the action continues tomorrow night. Two more ties: Paris two one up against Hecken. Barcelona lead Brown by the same score. Remember, it's either FC Hecken or PSG for the winners of this tie in the semi-finals. As Benfica prepare to make a double change. Falcon and Norton are the players who are going to be coming on. I mentioned the progress that Benfica have made, not just this season, but in previous campaigns, and it says it all, really, that the last time these two clubs met in the Champions League, Benfica won the game's home and away in the group stage that year, 5-0. It was in the 21-22 campaign. Went on to win the trophy. Ada Hegerberg scored twice in the fixture in Portugal. Alves. Patel can make this double change. Davidson, one of those making way. Falcon, who started the first leg coming on. And on the left-hand side, the left wing-back position in the first leg. Certainly come on with instructions. Carol Costa handing over the armband here as uh, Norton is also brought on. Dumorne chased by Araujo. Haran. Comfortable take for Powells. I have to say, this is a huge period of Benfica season. This game tonight, and they play their fierce city rival sporting three games in a row, home and away in the Cup semi finals. And in between those two legs, they meet in the league. Benfica, her side, five points above sporting at the moment. but. Uh, three such significant matches. It's time to let us know who your Visa Fanzo player of the match is. Let us know in the chat, and we'll reveal all shortly at the end of the match. Carpenter. Haran. Such a competitor in the heart of that midfield, Haran. Remember when she signs the head of recruitment, Bruno Sheru, that Leon said she's the most European of American players in style of play and technical ability. It's often been said that the USA players are much maybe more athletic very often than the European counterparts, but Haran seems to have it all.
party atmosphere now with the Lyon supporters naturally confident that their side are heading through to the semi-finals. Just worth reminding you again, another game still to come tonight, the second leg of the tie between Chelsea and uh, Ajax. That will be played in London, Chelsea 3-0 up from the first leg. The five performance in the Dutch capital from Emma Hayes' side, the Chelsea coach looking to win this competition for the first time with Chelsea before she leaves for the USA job. Has won the competition before as assistant coach at Arsenal. Besho. Majri to her right, Dumorne is there too, and so is Diani. Is there a trip there on Dumorne? Diani. I just wonder if Dumorne had gone down there, whether she might have been awarded a penalty. Besho with the shot, and it whistles wide. Be feeling confident after that brace at the weekend. Gasper. Norton caught there by Egurola. Well, Leon hold the record for the most Champions League titles, consecutive titles, appearances in the final. Will they go all the way this time? certainly been made to work for their passage to the semi-finals, haven't they? Great credit to Benfica. You know, so many memories that they've made in this competition this season, not least holding the reigning champions Barcelona, remember, on match day six to four all in Lisbon. But Lyon have, not by a long way, but have been the better side over the two legs, I don't think there could be any argument about that, and they do deserve their place in the semi-finals, but Benfica, as I say again, have given a great account of themselves, and what a platform they've given themselves to build on next season in the competition. Trip there on Dumorne. A yellow card coming for that challenge as well. Araujo, the Brazilian, the player booked. Final seconds then of the 90. Minimum of five minutes added time. Over towards Eguron, that's a good knockdown. And they've just about managed to prevent the shot on goal. Dumorne with the header wide. Another ball into the box towards Haran. And the knockdown was good, and Diani makes absolutely sure. There's no doubt now. Leon heading through safely now to the semi finals. Diani with the third on the night. 
and their fifth goal of the tie. Really good ball over, wasn't it? And the knockdown right into the path of Diani. He couldn't miss, really. Their sixth goal in this season's Champions League. The player looking to win this competition for the first time this season gets the third of the night for Lyon. Falcon. Down by Carpenter. And the Leon supporters enjoying themselves, and rightly so. Side with some defending to do right at the end of the game here, though. It's Benfica look to get one back, cleared by Carpenter, who'd given away the free kick. Lucia Alves. Still pushing, aren't they? Still having a go around at the end of the game with the tie lost here, Benfica. Very late change here. As Alidou, the Benfica goal scorer on the night, is withdrawn. Alamandaris is the player who comes on. Gasper will take the free kick. Besho. It's been a great effort and work rate and application and attitude from both sets of players across the two legs. It comes back here to Harat. Jessica Silva did enough. Silva. Needs support as we move into the final minute of added time. Well, they came up against one of the giants of European football in Lyon. But Philippe Patel's side emerged from this tie with great credit. What a journey it's been for them this season. And they can say they've mixed it with the very best, can't they, playing against both Barcelona and against Lyon. And they've, although they were beaten 5 0 by Barcelona on match day one, they pushed them all the way in the reverse fixture in the group stage. Came off the Yanni. And there's a real element of fortune about that one. And it's a shame, really, from a Benfica point of view. But Leon have a fourth on the night. A bit of a gift, that one. And it came in the sixth minute of added time. Scoreline just perhaps feels a little unfair on Benfica. But it's another ball floated in there. It's, she's just on side, isn't she? Haram with the ball in there. Off the Annie. 
and then played against her. So Leon head through, they get the job done over the two legs. Narrow victors in the first leg in Lisbon. More convincing tonight. Certainly deserved their place in the final four. Credit to Cascarino, who was excellent this evening. Backed herself a couple of goals. Several really good individual performances. Diani getting on the score sheet. And thank you for joining in the fan zone. And we can reveal it was Cascarino who got a brace who you voted for as your Visa Fan Zone player of the match. Very deserving of that player of the match award as well. She was excellent, was taken off with 15 minutes to go. But Benfica have more than played their part in this. It was just too much to ask of them in the end though and it finishes Leon 4 Benfica 1 congratulations to Cascarino as well your visa player of the match Played in a good spirit the game as well. Now their side heading through to a 13th UEFA Women's Champions League semi-final. The possibility it could be an all-French affair as well. And against PSG, we'll see on that. It was all square, wasn't it, in terms of the possession? The eight attempts on target for Leon, just the three for Benfica, 21 total attempts. It just really does illustrate and underline how much Leon worthy, worthy winners tonight. He went 4 1 on the night and 6 2 on aggregate. Here is the best of the action. Araujo with just enough, not enough on that. And it was uh, Lussomer who got there first and unselfishly played it back to Cascarino to get her first of the night. Scored in the first leg as well, Cascarino. I thought she was so calm here. Uchebe just unable to clear that off the line. A return to fitness it's been for Cascarino. Le Sommer really playing her part here as well. What a reaction it was almost immediately from Benfica. Kika with the pass, Alves with the square pass to their top scorer in this competition this season. Alidou with the equaliser on the night. Her ninth goal in the Champions League if you include the qualifiers this season. Sliding in there with Green Schumbach. A fantastic reaction from Benfica. And this was six minutes into the second half where Cascarino just took it into her own hands, really, didn't she? They were backing off a bit, weren't too many options, she felt to pass it, so just thought, why not? Her second of the night. This is a great angle of it. Driving run. They didn't know whether to go towards her or whether to back off. And that's a brilliant shot, isn't it? Exquisite that from Cascarino. Her second of the game, a third of the tie. And she really is already soon after returning from injury, starting to look back to her very best. 
joyous performance from her tonight. This in added time. Ball into the box, fell towards Horan, and the knockdown found Diani, who added a third for Lyon. And marked in the box. Couldn't miss, really. Great ball in there by Majri. Haram. Such a good knockdown. And then deep into added time, another ball into the box. Cannons back onto Diani. A big element of fortune about that one. But do enjoy the rest of this week's action on the zone, the global home of women's football. But for me, from me, Adam Summerton, for now, it's goodbye. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken. Champions League, sponsored by Heineken. PFL is more than a fight. It's coming straight for you. It's going to be ugly. Emma Hayes get her hands on the Champions League. Carolina Panthers select Bryce Young. It's the potential for history to be made. This is where the competition really comes to life. Can I get a Virginia? A what? Monikin? Hi. Hi, Kim, please. Me? Wait. How do you spell it? Any Kim. Is there a green one? Ah. Uh. Hackman? Yes. Hold on. It's only noise. Can Anthony Edwards live up to the hype? It's only rivalry. A little hard work. Only a kick. It's only a jump. Hey champ, I know why you're here. You're a born winner, the top dog. You have a proper punch on you. It only takes one, eh? But I know you're not all about throwing haymakers. You know your bobs from your weaves. And you know the zone's got over 100 live events every year. Over 100. Proper stack. All the action, the chaos, the comeback. The non-stop knockout. Big fights every week. So get those gloves back on. Together, we're boxing royalty. The zone. Undisputed.
UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Heineken.